Hello, what's up, y'all? It's Poppin' with Craig, and it's D-Boss reacts to this vid by Hello Yasina's title. Playboy Cardi and The Weeknd are dissing Drake. Okay, I just reacted to this new song over on my Patreon. It's up right now. I also reacted to uh, J. Cole's song with Daylight, Collar Greens. Also reacted to J. Cole's song with T. Grizzly. This man is doing features with everybody. Where's the album? <laughs> uh, Sweetie, uh, Shibuzi, some other people. Okay, I've been reacting to a lot of stuff over on Patreon very recently. So uh, go check it out. Go subscribe if you're interested. Link down below. Anyway, um, yeah, he's saying that they are dissing Drake. So but let, let's hear what he has to say. Let's watch. What's poppin' y'all? Today I wanted to pose an interesting theory that people on Instagram, for some reason, decide to hate on. I don't know why, but you should follow me on Instagram, at Hell You Seen. And that is Playboy Cardi and The Weeknd coming at Drake. We already know that The Weeknd does not mess with Drake. We know that there's been issues. Also, it's not just Hello You Seen saying this. Between them, there's been disses back and forth. You even heard the song, like, Cash Blowing Naval Bread, I Heard Trick It. Mm, yeah, and Drake that will have relevance to the theory directly. I'm posing here. And this isn't just a random theory. There is enough material behind it that it makes sense. Okay. Now, Cardi was cool with Drake. He was on the song Pain 1993 with him. I think that was the song right? It was around Dark Lane Demo that, Tapes right? era. And I don't know if the like... Cardi-Drake connection happened because of Ian Connor, because Ian Connor was born in 1993. So there is yeah. that link. And Cardi's born in 1996, I believe. However, the first piece of information is Cardi was on No Face, or his ad-libs were supposed to be on No Face. That doesn't get cleared. And No Face is still, or No Face ends up coming out on from 100 gigs on streaming platforms, but without Cardi version. Then mm -hmm. a song gets previewed that has Cardi featured on The Weeknd. The Weeknd previewed the song, or he played this song when he was doing his Sao Paulo stadium show oh, okay, in okay. Rio. That right. makes sense, because I was reacting to this, and I'm like, when did they perform this? Like, I'm confused, because I reacted to the lyric video, and it had this performance uh, playing with the lyrics popping up on the screen. And I'm like, when was this? But that makes sense. Rio, in Sao Paulo, excuse me. And this song was produced by yeah, Pharrell. Now we know that Drake does oh, not mess with that's Pharrell. that's why he said that. Drake bought Okay, Pharrell. I thought he was just randomly uh, name dropping Pharrell in the Neptunes just to be shady <laughs> and to spite Drake because we know. I'm sure he about to say Pains for, I think, a million or something dollars at an auction. Drake has also taken shots at Pharrell yeah. on different tracks. He said he would melt the chains when he was in the beef with, or he would consider melting the chains when he was in the beef with Kendrick Lamar. So we know those two don't mess with each other. Pharrell produces the track. The Weeknd is featured on the track. Mm. Or, and Playboy Cardi is on the track too. And very interesting. the theory that is that like Cardi flips production. this bar. So in the song, he has a very timeless, distinct sound. But he okay. says, oh, or double O, OPM, whatever it is. Bust down the watch, you know that I'm timeless. And in Drake's song, 10 Bands, he says, all my watch is always timeless, you can keep the diamonds. Mm. Sure, this, you could say if it's just the lyrics, it could be a bit of a reach, right? And I'm willing to accept that if it was just the lyrics, but it's not just the lyrics. It's all of these other things that come together to take shots at Drake. And we know mm -hmm. Drake loves to throw subs at people. He loves to do stuff like this. So it wouldn't surprise me if Cardi or The Weeknd were doing the same thing. And Cardi's not an idiot. Like, sure, the guy acts a certain way and his lyrics are not even based. They're not complex at all. But you're, to pretend that Cardi's incapable of making a bar like this and taking shots at someone, I think that's doing too much. Or that's giving Cardi nowhere near enough credit that he deserves. And 10 Bands is one of the most popular Drake songs from the if you're reading this it's too late album now i don't know what the connection for that album would be that would be me going towards different levels of reach also keep in mind in a separate video clip which i'm going to use for another video topic which is the one with lucky so you should probably look into that or pay attention to that subscribe so you get it when it comes out but cardi gets gifted a maybach by cash and abel and he gets gifted an xo double o like xo opium chain by these guys too and he just goes on a rant, just doing the Cardi thing on camera. So this all makes sense. And mm. this, if we knew that Playboy Cardi was going to release a song with The Weeknd, we could just say that maybe Cardi didn't clear the no face because he was getting ready to release his own project, I Am Music. And he did just release that song All Red, which performed very, very well. Now the song is, 
I don't get why people give passes to certain people to do things and not others. Hey, the dude's biting future. It's straight up biting Absolutely. future. And I've said There that. have been so many times where I thought I was listening to Future and it was played with Cardi on like different features and whatnot. So he is biting future to the highest degree. But his fans eat it up and I don't see too many people calling it out, which is very interesting. Before was it a whole lot of red era? Or right before that, he dropped like a couple he of songs. He sounded exactly like him sometimes. Thug. Uh, but people just, they just want to do tricks off for Cardi. On a date, but though. regardless, that song performed very well. It charted at, number, or debuted at number 15. It's got like over 45 million streams. The song's doing phenomenal. So the lead up to his album is doing well. Maybe he didn't want a song with Drake to do poorly. No face. And that was, or a song that wasn't going to have that much push behind it. There is a possibility for that. Although he did do the track with Camila Cabello. And I wouldn't say that derails anything. That song did end up performing well, too. So maybe that song did make sense. But that collaboration makes far less sense than him just showing up on some ad-libs on a Drake song. Like, these are ad-libs. He didn't drop a verse. There wouldn't be a lot of expectation Mm. for No Face charting or doing well when Cardi doesn't even have a verse on it. So I don't think it would have harmed him at all. Yeah, he was not What I think the deal is, is he knew he had the song with The Weeknd. And Playboy Cardi from what I've seen, at least, is a pretty loyal guy. So if he's rocking with The Weeknd, which I think he's always been closer to XO than he has. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know a whole lot about Cardi, but I don't know. The things that I have seen, the very limited things, it's not giving loyalty to me. But, you know, maybe there's something I'm missing. Maybe he knows more than I do. Feel free to correct me, but what? <laughs> he, What? What? Even I think about the situation with Iggy, Aiden, like, bro. What? Yeah, OVO. Really, the only connection to OVO Whoa. that I've seen is Drake. And like I said, we don't know how much of that connection is the Ian Connor Drake connection. Because I know those two are for sure tight. So if he knew that The Weeknd was going to play his song at the Sao Paulo festival, not festival, stadium show by well, the weekend, which, he didn't this is what we got But overall, about. he just don't seem like a loyal person. He needs to start putting some respect on the weekend's name when I said this is arguably the biggest artist in the world. And they're like, oh no, you know, Bad Bunny could do a festival or Bad Bunny could do a stadium in Brazil. You don't know what you're talking about. Please, oh. shut up. You oh. can't. <laughs> Please. God damn. <laughs> it's just frustrating. Regardless, uh, I went on a little tangent there, so we're going to reel it back in. So the weekend and them are tight. I don't know what the, the issue is, massive. though. I don't know if Playboy Cardi's adopting this. I don't know how involved Pharrell is. Because keep in mind, Drake posted Pharrell on his story with a crown and a hat. Or no, the weekend posted Pharrell on his story with a crown and a hat. And the he's wearing some ring. And this was the weekend posting it. Mm. So there are some shots being thrown side to side we already said cash buying cardi a maybach i don't think that's taking shots at drake but it is it's funny that makes the drake line age well this is what we got we got to give credit to drake too man we always talk about these kendrick lyrics lyrics whenever some moment is happening we got to reference that drake lyric here like cash blowing able bread out here tricking things that they do for guys we do for chicks and that's exactly what he's doing. He just bought a Maybach for <laughs> Cardi, which all of these people can afford these things. I just hope that Cardi hits another lick on Aiden Ross. That was entertaining. The stream wasn't entertaining. This was just caught him, him doing that, that was some entertainment. And I don't know why he forgave him for that. That is not And you want him to do it again? Cardi was tripping off that. But I'm interested to see how this develops. Playboy Cardi... I wouldn't say his versus Drake. I think he just distanced himself from Drake. And keep yeah, in mind, recently, up. Drake has been tweeting about having fake friends. Not tweeting. He's been posting on his Insta about having, or his Finsta, as they want to call it, about having fake friends. And he showed a lot of love to Cardi. I will, Did he? I have to admit that. When? I cannot lie there. So we'll see how that develops. The story that I'm talking about is... It's a movie scene where he says, I never hung out with these idiots after work, ever. Mm. I had fashion friends. Fashion friends? You know, that's an interesting uh, story to put out there. Now, I don't think that there was so much thought into this on, like, yo, Cardi and fashion. No, I think fashion friends could refer to 
a whole slew of people that Drake worked with. But I do think there's something here and we're going to continue to see it develop over time. But let me know what you... Damn, they're not giving the boy a rest. And people could, you know, play dumb all they like and act like they blind to what's taking place. But when you put all of these pieces together, it's clear that these rappers are taking sides, that they are distancing themselves from Drake. And, you know, it. I, I don't know how else to paint this picture more clear for you. <laughs> if you don't see that, I, I don't know why you, you don't see what's clearly taking place. And they don't have to be dissing him directly to do that. Um, and yeah, that's just what it looks like is occurring. When you consider everything that's taking place, even business-wise behind the scenes, I'm not one to clear, you know, that song. It's just like, people are definitely like, they're, they're basically banning against Drake. You know, whether directly or indirectly. So, I don't know how he's going to come back from this, to be honest. So, yeah, very interesting stuff that's, that's unfolding. Y'all let me know what y'all think, though. Let me know what other videos you want to watch, and I'll see y'all the next one. Bye!